as for the introduction, digital health awareness in a technology society refers to physical and psychosocial well-being. Given the increased frequency with which students use technology, particularly in their personal life, health and awareness are important topics to address in the development of well-balanced future citizens. Given the frequency and duration of the technology use, ergonomics of the workstation have become more crucial than ever in the physical health arena. Repetitive stress injuries, eye strain, and carpal tunnel syndrome are all injuries that can be avoided. Simple adjustments to, to the table height or screen positioning can help prevent health issues. In the psychosocial domain, it is commonly recognized that a cultural shift is taking place in terms of what is expected of people in social situations, in connections with others, and particularly in relationships with others through and with technology. The nature of highly mobile and highly connected of technology will continue to put strain on both physical and virtual social connectivity. The first one is the right way to sit in front of your computer. Does being a student require you to sit for 70 or more hours per week? For me, it's a yes, since now we need to, because most of the students are enrolled in online distance learning or ODL, our learning area must be appropriately set up to aid with our posture. If done incorrectly, posture can lead to tight muscles and overuse issues over time. Inappropriate body position and posture can cause repetitive stress motion injuries. Here's how to sit at a computer properly. First, position yourself on the chair so that your feet are flat on the floor and your knees are parallel to or slightly lower than your hips. Next, sit up straight in your chair and recline back with your hips pushed far back. Take regular breaks from your work. Long periods of sitting can restrict blood flow and lead to muscle fatigue. To avoid this, we should take breaks as often as our college schedule allows. We should stand up and walk away from the desk when taking a break. We might do some calf lift and shoulder shrugs to get our blood flowing or we can attempt some yoga positions to loosen up our muscles. Get some exercise regularly. Our elbow should be by our sides and we should bend our arms in an L form. Next will be eye strain. Being a college student comes with a lot of eye problems. Students spend a lot of time staring at screens that are lit up. Spending too much time looking at brightly lit screens can cause headaches and eye strain. Eye strain causes a tired or sore feeling in the eye area and a burning or itching sensation. It's also possible that your eyes will get watery or too dry. You may experience difficulties focusing, increased sensitivity to light, blurred or double vision and other eye discomfort symptoms accompanied by headaches. Last but not least, zoom in to avoid squinting. At eye level, the screens should always be 18 to 24 inches away from the body. Zoom in while keeping an arm length distance from the screen if the text or image on the screen are too small to see without leaning closer or squinting. Okay, next is spinal problems. Poor working posture can cause back discomfort, stiffness in the spine, and disc injury. The disc between the vertebrae of the spine soften as a result of regular motions, allowing blood and nutrients to flow freely. Sitting for an extended period of time causes this disc to become unstable and thick, causing collagen to develop on the tendons and ligaments. Here is how to avoid spinal problems. First tip is elbow measure. First, begin by sitting comfortably as close as possible to your desk so that your upper arms are parallel to your spine. Rest your hands on your work such as desktop or computer board. Number two, tight measure. Check that you can easily slide your fingers under your tie at the leading edge of the chair. If it's too tight, you need to prop your feet up with an adjustable footrest. If you are unusually tall and there is more than a finger width between your tie and the chair, you need to raise the desk or work surface so that you can raise the height of your chair. Number three, 
resting eye level. Close your eyes while sitting comfortably with your head facing forward. Slowly open your eyes. Your gaze should be aimed at the center of your computer screen. If your computer screen is higher or lower than your gaze, you need to either raise or lower it to reduce strain on the upper spine. The last tip is armrest. Adjust the armrest of the chair so that it just slightly lifts your arms at the shoulders. Use an armrest on your chair is important to take some of the strain off your upper spine and shoulders. And it should make you less likely to slouch forward in your chair. Number 4. Reduce brain function. Sitting for too long will reduce our brain function. This unhealthy condition can be happen because of our brain is not getting enough blood and oxygen supply. Our brain needs a sufficient amount of oxygen and blood in order to release some of the several chemical substances for our body. Sitting for too long will make our brain didn't get this supply and the function will rapidly drop. Here are the tips for stay healthy while sitting in front of your computer. Number 1. Keep your laptop in the right position. If you are looking too far down from your line of sight, you might experience back and neck pain. Alternatively, if you are gazing too upwards, you will experience dry eyes. Hence, it's better to use a computer stand or a stack of books to set the position of your laptop in a manner that you don't have to look down at the angle of 10 minus degrees max. Number 2. Keep yourself hydrated. Quite often, thirst is mistaken for hunger which makes us binge eat. Even sleepiness is sometimes caused by dehydration. Thus, it's very important to keep yourself hydrated in order to maintain good health. Also, drinking more water will force you to get up more often from your desk to refill your water bottle. Last but not least, blink more. When you sit in front of your computer, you should blink more often. Since staring at the screen means you blink three times less as you do normally, you need to make sure to blink more often. Make a concerted effort to open and close your eyes. Also, try to follow the 20-20-20 rule while looking at the screen. That means, in every 20 minutes, gaze at the point that is 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Most office workers spend an average of 10 hours per day in front of their computer, leaving little time off for the physical activity during the day. As we've learned, sitting is incredibly harmful to your hair and even more so than smoking. As some suggest, many of us suffer from hair problems that we blame on genetic traits, a poor diet, or even the environment. It is also because of our everyday habits contribute significantly to our hair problems. Here are some of the effects to your organ as you sit in front of the computer for too long. Uh, first of all, cancer. The danger of a lung, colon, breast, uterine, and endometrial tumors is perhaps the most frightening side consequences of long sitting. The exact cause of the leak is uncertain. Although it could be because sedentary behavior increases insulin synthesis in our body, which promotes cancer growth. Regular physical activity, on the other hand, has an antioxidant impact in the body because it reduces oxidative stress, uh, weight gain, changes in hormone levels, metabolic dysfunction, and inflammation have all been related to an increased, increased risk of cancer all of which can be worsened by sedentary behavior. And secondly, poor blood circulation. Poor circulation is another evidence, but sometimes people overlook the side effect of static sitting. Long periods of sitting can cause blood to pool in the legs and feet, resulting in very, so very, very soft veins, swollen ankles, and even serious blood clots, such as deep vein thrombosis, as known as DVT. And the third one is heart disease. Fatty acids are more likely to clog the arteries in the heart when our bodies burn less fat and blood circulation is poor. Inactive sitting has been linked to high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and cardiovascular disease. 
According to a study, those who spend more than 10 hours per week sitting in front of the computer or more than 23 hours per week watching television had an 82% and 64% higher risk of heart disease respectively than those who spend much less time in on these activities. And the last one is diabetes. Accordingly, to a study that looked at the link between diabetes and total sitting time, physically inactive adults had a higher risk of diabetes, with extended sitting being a major contributing factor. This is because a reduction in the muscle mass and strength can lead to reduction in insulin sensitivity, which means that the cells respond to insulin more slowly than the hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar levels. The lower the body's insulin sensitivity, the more likely it is to develop diabetes. Just sitting in front of your computer causes foot pain. Many people spend the majority of their working day sit in front of the computer. Because you aren't doing anything physically during this time, it may appear like sitting shouldn't cause any pain or discomfort. The truth is that spending all day in front of a computer can bring pain and health issues because the food is not used as frequently as it would be in a job that needs standing or moving around. It might cause foot pain. When you begin to put more weight on your feet, you may experience pain. You may discover that walking long distances without stopping is tough for you. Your feet will require time to transition from lengthy periods of non-weight bearing inactivity to being suddenly exposed to the polar opposite. These are the type of foot pain. Food discomfort uh, can take many different forms. However, the following are the most prevalent complaints. The first one is fatigue, and the second one, heel pain, big toe pain, sore eggs, sore arcs, muscle cramps, and swollen feet, and oral and ankles. Okay, for the conclusion, uh, it is critical that we take care of our health, especially in this pandemic situation. Uh, because of this pandemic situation, of students must attend the classes online, which means they spend almost half of the day in front of their computer. Uh, as a result, uh, they don't have time to do exercise or do anything that will allow the body and mind to relax. It is a negative thing because if they don't have time to allow the body or mind to relax or doing exercise, their body will become weak and lifeless. This thing may have some un unintended consequences and lowering their health condition. This is not a good thing to them because they are still young. This thing will give them some side effects such as uh, tight muscle, eye strain, spinal problem, and decreased brain function. Some people just doesn't care about their health because to them, if they can finish their work on time, they doesn't even care about the unhealthy work style that can harm their health status. Online classes also can cause mental illness. Uh, this can happen because not all people have the same environment and condition, and it can cause some misunderstanding. Because of the misunderstanding, uh, people may become stressed, which is bad because stress can lead to the depression. Depression is a common illness nowadays because not everyone has a strong mental capacity to adapt to the new norm. Plus, I hope people are aware about their health status and visit the hospital on a regular basis to maintain their health condition. And thank you.